no editing no nothing we are jumping right into this so we got some pokemon news today all the starter pokemon are officially coming back in part two of the dlc the indigo disc this is very very exciting because superior snivy that whole line has not been in a game in five years and i'm so hyped to see that i believe embor has been similar all the other ones we've had uh whether it be in like a pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl or whatever things we had on the switch all the other ones have been here i have mb with me here today mb what do you think about the starters coming back are you excited as i am i'm super excited contrary superior bro when was the last time we were able to click those uh those leaf stores, bro? yeah <laughs> it, it has been a long time man it has been an absolute long time since generation uh seven right like it's literally been since generation seven and terra will obviously be insane for this guys i'm gonna have timestamps down below for everything we'll be talking about so if you want to jump around that's completely fine feel free to sub to me and sub to my boy envy as well we upload a lot of pokemon content so anyway uh obviously i'm excited about that i know for for vgc you got incineroar coming back as well which i think will be pretty crazy for the lower tiers i just think that terra in itself is going to be absolutely insane. Like, even Blastoise, right? Blastoise gets Shell Smash now. Yes. Blastoise gets Shell Smash now. So that puts, like, Terra Grass to knock out Rotom and Water types. Like, that'll be a crazy thing. It's had Shell Smash for a minute. But, I mean, now, we, I'm just saying in, in terms of this game. Uh, and, yeah, Superior seems to be probably the craziest one, in my opinion. Leaf Storm, and then, you know, you always have to pick between Hidden Power Fire, Hidden Power Ground when it came to Superior. Now, just Terra into your type and keep that typing. Better defensive typing than Grass type, right? depending on what you do. You can even Terra Water, right? Terra Water is water is infinitely better than Grass as a typing, and uh, that'll allow you to still hit Heatran, hit Steel types for neutral, and things like that. So that's a really interesting one. I'm most excited about Infernape. Which starter are you guys very excited about to use? Infernape is probably the one I'm also, like again, most think, excited about. Uh, do you think by any chance that Blaziken, Torchic, is going to be kind of crazy with Terra? <laughs> yes, for sure, for sure. I was actually really hoping you'd lead into Blaziken because SD, Yo. Swords Dance, Speed Boost, um, Blaziken is really interesting, right? Because like Blaziken, well, we'll go on showdown while we're showing this. This is a free site. You can use it if you want. Um, so Blaziken has bulk up, right? And typically it never uses that. It always uses Swords Dance. But like bulking, obviously Swords Dance is still going to be crazy. Obviously Swords Dance is absolutely still going to be crazy, especially with a Terra type. Like uh, Terra slides into a flying type so you can avoid Earthquake. And instead of having to use an Air Balloon, it also have like Stab on... Um, uh, either Terra Blast, Brave Bird, or Acrobatics, depending on what item you are using. You don't have to run an item if you're running Acrobatics. Uh, but also bulking up and having that passive recovery but potential leftover sounds pretty cool as an endgame mod. Either way, like if Terra is the way it is, I don't know if Blaziken would even stay. But that's definitely a crazy one. For Alligator, Sheer Force for Alligator as well. Yes. Dragon Dancing up. Like Gator was just shy of always picking up KOs on like mons like tox specs or things like that. Terrastalize into a dark type, make your crunch be stabbed. Terrastalize into a ground type, make your earthquake be stabbed. I think that would be some of the bigger ones. I feel like those are the ones that kind of stand out more alongside the other. Unless a Pokemon like Torterra gets Shell Smash too, which I would absolutely love for it to get Shell Smash upon uh, coming back. But that's, you know, wishful thinking. That's That would be, be amazing if it that'd, did. I, that, yeah, that'd be fire, right? That'd be fire. And obviously, Empoleon finally coming back is really cool. Now, Best Empoleon... Defogger. <laughs> Empoleon does get slack off in Legends Arceus, but that doesn't mean it actually has it in the actual game when it comes back. But we don't know. We don't know, cause this is this is a uh, national dex by the way. So if we look at it, Empoleon's mm -hmm. obviously not here. But if it does get slack off, Water Steel is such beautiful defensive typing. It is it is in a great defensive typing. Obviously, you know, being weak to some of the most prominent attacks in the game, like ground and, and fighting currently in OU is pretty big. But you terrestrialize out of that. Even becoming a pure water is always fine. So I, I really love that. The resistances are key. So those are the ones I'm most excited about. Uh, I know Sceptile does have access to Dragon Dance now. Sucks it didn't get it when it could become a Mega Sceptile. But what starters are you guys excited about? There's so much more news. Let's get into the next one. So it's confirmed that Raging Bolt, the Paradox Raikou, is Electric Dragon. We all figured, right? We all figured. And I was yeah. a little bit like, I, I actually like the design when it comes to this, this art. I like the design here more than it looked in the game itself. Um, but, you know, I was thinking it might be a, a kind of slow Pokemon right because or a lot of people thought because it looks like you know a brachiosaurus a potosaurus whatever you want to call it um but then they said its signature move its new move is thunderclap and envy why don't you tell them what thunderclap does so thunderclap is like sucker punch it has priority only if the opponent attacks you it'll work and it's special yep and electric Ooh. and electric and electric, and electric. Yeah. yep 
Yeah, and so the example they showed was uh, Raging Bolt going for Thunderclap versus Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle, one of the fastest Pokemon in the game currently, uh, especially with a booster energy. And this Mon, um, just being able to outspeed it. And that's such a big thing, right? Because Electric Dragon is good, really good offensive typing. Really, really good offensive typing. And even defensively, you have some pretty good resistances as well, water being the big one. But if you're a Pokemon that cannot get off attacks, you're not going to be solid, right? If you can have the best typing in the world, but like if this Mon can't get off an attack versus something that could is faster than it, like it doesn't matter. Like Iron Bundle, for instance, right? If it didn't have Thunderclap, Ice Beam, Freeze Dry, probably drops Raikou with a choice specs, right? And I'm gonna call it Raikou, but you guys know it's Raging Bolt. Um, so obviously having that priority is really, really nice. I think priority moves in general are cool. I also like the fact that it's like Sucker Punch as well. So there are gonna be some mind games with this thing as well. Uh, do you think it'll have access to Calm Mind like Raikou did? I'm only thinking no, just because Walking Wake didn't. But what right, are your thoughts? Right, Walking Wake didn't have that. Um, what I do think is going to be interesting is the fact that this Mon, alongside uh, Thunderclap, can also Terra, yes. so that you get uh, double, you get your uh, stab from Terra plus this as oh, well. So you can, Terra Electric. Yep, you could do that as well, and also just even tearing defensively, so that you'll still have Thunderclap. But then you can also go for another attack besides that if you want to play like mind games like that. So it's another layer of mind games with Terra alongside Thunderclap. Almost King Gambit level, but King Gambit has Swords Dance, ridiculous dual typing, and ridiculous stats <laughs> defensively yeah. and offensively. And also it's a ridiculous ability. But Protosynthesis is a big thing too, right? Like being able to run this on... Uh, we're, we're thinking this is going to be the sun one, right? We're, this is yeah. all sun. This is sun, and, and sun's going to have nine tails coming back. And sun is also uh, has Torkoal already cur currently. So like priority on that is really, really nice. I, I love that. I absolutely love that. And like you said, the, the extra layer of Terra makes a big difference when it comes to that. And obviously, um, I think it's going to be similar to Wake, right? So this one's Electric Dragon. So if, uh, if Entei eventually comes, we're going to think it's going to be Fire Dragon, right? They are following a pattern, which we'll see in the yep. next one in a second. Um, but yeah, I love uh, probably fire coverage, which is something that Raikou would have loved anyway, like back in the day as well. <clears throat> but mm -hmm. we'll see. We'll see if that ends up happening. But then Iron Crown as well has uh, Steel Psychic confirmed. So I, when I was talking about Iron Crown, I was really praying for like Steel Electric, uh, Steel Water, Steel Flying type of thing. But Steel Psychic, they're following their whole pattern. Makes complete it's gonna sense. going to be a pattern, so Terrakion is going to be Rock Psychic. Uh, psychic. So historically, MV. Steel Psychic is a really good typing in the past, historically, right? Yes. You got Metagross, you got Bronzong, you got Jirachi, right? Goats. Yep. Absolute goats in the past, back when Steel resisted both Dark and Ghost. Broken, by the way. Broken dual typing when Steel resisted Dark and Ghost. Um, obviously, fast forward, doesn't resist Dark and it's super effective. Like, like all those, those moves are super effective now, right? On it, on it specifically because it's part Psychic, right? Because Steel no longer resists Dark and... Um, mm. Ghost. So, I'm not sure how I feel about Steel Psychic. I, I think defensively it's still okay, right? Resistance to Fairy, Resistance to Dragon are pretty big. Ice, you know, Grass, really big, right? Like, really, really big defensively. But what are your thoughts on it now before I even go into its moves? Yeah, so I think that the difference between this Mon and the others, I feel like this Mon is going to be fast, mm. like really fast. So you not only have a great typing that deals with some of the most dangerous types in the game with um, Dragon and Fairy, but it's like now you might have you might have a lot of speed along with the ability to Terra as well. So I feel like that combination makes this I think a little bit more um, of a different situation than Metagross and Jirachi because those mons are kind of like mid speed tier, a little slower. Um, I think Jirachi was great for what it could do with the bulk that it has. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how bulky this mon's gonna be, but if it at least is able to sponge something, because I think it's going to do a lot of damage. Yeah. It looks like it's there to destroy everything, you know? Yeah, yeah, it legit looks like um, it's more sleek than obviously Kobali on everything. It looks lighter, so I could definitely see it being faster, but at the same time, uh, Iron Leaves was slower than Verizion. And I will say one of the downsides is that we don't have a Tapu Koko, uh, so Cork Drive is mm -hmm. Cork Drive is still a good ability with booster energy. I'll we'll probably see booster energy speed boosts into whatever set it ends up wanting to run. Um, but obviously you don't have, you have to run Pinkurchin if you want the electric terrain and Pinkurchin is a way worse Pokemon than Tapu Koko by far. No offense to any Pinkurchin favorite or lovers out there. I'm so sorry. You know, I'm sure you know it on a different level than we do, but from competitively, it is just not as great. And now yeah. it has the a new move is a Tachyon Cutter, a Tachyon Cutter. I don't know how you want to pronounce it because I've seen def different 
pronunciations of this word specifically. I even Google trying to figure it out. But this is the interesting thing for me, Envy, because when I think of Cobalion, yes, I have used like Calm Mind with Volt Switch, Electrum Z, uh, you know, Gigavolt Havoc to knock out Alamola, right? Or like All Out Pummeling Focus Blast. I'm talking when we had Z moves, right? With Calm Mind sets. But usually, Physical is what I think of when it comes to this Pokemon, right? If we look at Cobalion's actual stats, it has decent special attack. Like, don't get me wrong, it had decent special attack, right? Yeah. 90, and it's good at 90 as well, attack. But the difference is the same attack. It's the same attack. But the difference was that Swords Dance would boost you by two versus Calm Mind. Uh, oh, sorry, let me put this in National Deck so stop saying everything's legal. Swords Dance boosts you by two, whereas Calm Mind is a plus one boost, even though it is boosting your special defense. Um, but so you can get more mileage out of it typically uh, out of Swords Dance. But I guess it makes more sense because this one was already uh, straight up mixed. But this is a special attacking steel move that never misses. Let's keep that in mind. Never misses and allows the user to unleash two successful hits on the target. You were comparing it to like double hit or like dragon darts maybe. I would, yeah, like a yeah. special version of gear grind that uh, doesn't miss as well. Um, thoughts on this on like it being calm mind though? How would, you, how would you fix that? How would you, what would you give it in terms of moves? Yeah, so I definitely think that the typical um, flash cannon psychic kind of thing, uh, I mean, you have this move. Uh, it, it, this move sounds like it's going to be, it's steel type, right? So yeah, it's, it's steel gonna... type. It, it's super effective on uh, Mimikyu, so it's steel type. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. So yeah, I, I, I think that w with this move, yeah, you pair it with Calm Mind, maybe um, there's no work up in this game, is there? Uh, That I know of. I, I can say that I don't know. That'd be kind of cool if it could like do something to like. I feel like it could have some kind of move to boost its. Uh... Hydreigon, Quavo. Oh nice. Uh, Iron Leaves gets it. So. Iron Leaves gets yeah literally. So it could be that it has um, a decent attack. Maybe the maybe instead of Cobalion, it's like like the attack stat or the special attack stats like much. Like the defense uh, swapped. Higher. Maybe like the defense swapped with it. Yeah, maybe maybe something like that. Well, maybe something like that. I mean. You might be onto something, because look at Iron Leaves at 130, and then yeah. look at Verizion. I'm pretty sure Verizion had like 90. Yeah, 90, 90. So, yeah. <laughs> so maybe, maybe we might even see a, a nice little 130 special attack. 130 special attack. You see what I mean? Yeah, that'd be crazy. That'd be crazy coming off of this. Like Steel is o Steel is okay, right? Offensively, Steel is okay, um, yeah. because like the resistances would be like like fire and water, right? The the two top that come to mind. Right, fire, water. Obviously, there's there's electric, whatever, but uh, and steel. But like there there's fire and water, are the two that come to mind. And then obviously, psychic can hit those for neutral, unless your name is Heatran. But at the same time, like, there's no way they're taking focus blast from this Pokemon's move pool, right? Iron Leaf still has Sacred Sword. I will say, I, I kind of wanted to get Aura Sphere, but focus blast is cool as well. And and Terra, and Terra, like yep. we've used potential also Volt Switch too, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're right. You're absolutely right. Uh, momentum from this guy is pretty cool as well. I, I don't know. I, I, I kind of hope it's faster than Leaves. Like, I kind of hope it's faster than Leaves. I could see them also just kind of following a similar stat line. Uh, base 10 Because these are both 108, right? Um, and then yep. you see all the stats are actually moved around for these guys. So, I'm assuming the highest speed stat we could get on this Mon would be 130. Right? 130 would be the highest stat. But I'm... Like, if you, if you look at uh, Verizion and Cobalion... All the same stats, just shuffled around a different place. So I'm assuming they're going to do differently. Right. Similarly for Iron Leaves. So in this case, it might actually be Iron Leaves, uh, or or Cobalion rather, or Iron Crown. Uh, 130 uh, speed and then 108 uh, special attack. Or it could be, you know, uh, the same speed and then one whatever. It could be 108 special attack. Or excuse me, uh, yeah, 108 speed. Yeah. But I kind of feel like they're going to follow the same speeds for all of them. Like I, I would think it would be similar to this. I could be you wrong. Think, you though. think same speeds for all of them? Yeah, I really do. But then I kind of like in a situation where, okay, what would they do for Terrakion when that eventually comes? Like, if this thing has the attack and the speed, and this one's going to be a special attack, what is Cobalion going to get? Is it going to be really similar to Iron Leaves? Like, what is it actually going to be? And there's Maybe, Maybe Terrakion is going to be the defensive one. <laughs> oh, that's so whack. For Rock Fighting? <laughs> come on, that was the best one out of the three offensively back when it came out. Maybe. Oh. Maybe you're right. Um... But I do like the potential, and I do think that booster energy in general is just amazing, right? We know that booster yeah. energy sets are just amazing, we, and we've seen how big uh, and competitive in all forms of it, how scary this could be. So this is kind of exciting for this Pokemon. Which one are you more excited for? Personally, I'm more excited for uh, the um, Raging Bolt, just because it's, you know, Paradox Past. Those kinds of ones are... The GOATs, dude. I, I like, 
I think they're the ghosts. They're more unique. It's just, it's just crazy to see Raikou yeah, with a long neck. Yeah, 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 long neck Raikou. <laughs> Raikou. All right, so we got two new moves as well revealed today. Uh, the first one is upper hand. It's a fighting type physical move, and it's kind of like fake out. But it doesn't only work once. And it only works if your opponent is using a priority move. And the example they showed was Hariyama using upper hand on a scissor that had clicked bullet punch. And it flinched. So it's a fighting type move that can flinch on priority. I think that's pretty cool. Like, you know, imagine having this back when, uh, well, I would say when Talonflame had Gale Wings. Um, but imagine being able to KO a Talonflame to death. Because <laughs> Brave Bird's always, Brave Bird was True. always priority. Like, imagine things like that. Like, it fails, guys. It fails if the move, if the opponent isn't going for a priority attack. But, like, uh, I can think of the example of Hariyama versus King Gambit. And King Gambit at 2 HP trying to go for Sucker Punch. But upper hand having higher priority. And then obviously knocking out King Gambit, clapping it right there. I don't know why I clap my hands. But clapping it. Uh, right there, but <laughs> thunder. You just did a thunder, thunder clap, clap, thunder clap prayer. But it's I, I, are there any like specific situations where you like this? Like it's you know what's interesting to me like anti leads as well. Like remember Endeavor Lycan Rock with SL Rock as yeah. well. Like imagine things like that just being like I, I think that's really cool. Like I like so, that. yeah. So the so the thing is it does fail if the opponent does not go for a priority move. Yes. The way that I could see this being useful is say for example. You're naturally faster than uh, a King Gambit. If you're, I mean, I assume this move is going to be for multiple Pokemon, not just one, right? Yes, so, yes. Um, assuming you're faster than something like King Gambit, King Gambit sets up Swords, Swords Dance or something, and then you essentially play the mind game where you have this move. It's fighting, right? So it's going to be really good against it if they have mm. a Terror or anything. Um, you can sub, but you can have this move and then another attack or something like that to knock it out. Um, I, th I think it just it adds a little layer of mind games, but. The fact that it fails if the opponent does not go for a priority move, I think is a little detrimental to it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's, uh... I could definitely see, like, I think Hariyama is a pretty good example of a Pokemon that can run up with, like, an Assault Vest or something. Yeah. But otherwise, it's like a move you won't click. It's kind of like, you know, on AV Hariyama, you'll run Fake Out as your first move just to get the guaranteed chip before you actually tank their hit and knock them out. Um, so it's really interesting uh, in that regard. It's going to be weak, most likely. We saw how much it did to Scizor in the actual video and it looked like a 30%, 40% type of... Uh, damaging yeah. move, I would think about being around there. The only reason I'm saying 30% over 40%, even though 40% is fake out, is just because remember when Sucker Punch was 80 and then he nerfed it to 70. But then again, they probably wouldn't start off with a move that immediately would be nerfed. So I, I would say 40. I, I wouldn't say around 40. I, I would agree, or I would think that it'd be around 40 base power. Um, yeah. Maybe it's maybe it's good for uh, maybe it's good for like Belly Drum Hariyama. You use Belly Drum. You have this move along with. Um like bullet punch and and, uh, and just drain punch shoot just go yeah. double double yeah yeah double fighting and then, so any 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 opponent that's trying to use a priority because your bullet punch is priority and then they have a priority to outrun it so does this out prioritize extreme speed so if the target was trying to use a priority move upper hand will get the jump on them allowing the user to attack first and cause their opponents to flinch without fail i don't see why it wouldn't it says it's a priority move yeah. uh oh oh dude uh duh it gets priority on uh, opposing fake out so it's a pretty big, right? Because okay, fake so out's, yeah, so then, fake yeah, out's a priority, priority level. Priority level is the highest possible. That's crazy. So you no longer have to go... Uh, from the way we're thinking, we could be wrong and let us know down below. But like, there are games, right, in VGC. We, we've played doubles before as well. Where they, they will fake out the Pokemon next to the fake out Pokemon. Because they don't want to risk the speed tie versus the fake out Pokemon. Yeah. But like, if you have a fake out mon like Incineroar out versus me. And I have Hariyama, which is also a fake out Pokemon. You might try and uh, fake out... Maybe, maybe I have like Urshifu, whatever. I'm running Urshifu plus Hariyama on my team in this example. Maybe I have Urshifu and you want to fake it out. That way it can't go for surge and strikes. But I go for upper hand, so block your fake out, flinch you, and then, you know, knock you out with surge and strikes through intimidate because it crits type of thing, right? So that's a pretty big, that's a pretty big BGC thing, I think, more than, and maybe, maybe draft so. as well. Is this basically like a reverse fake out? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I see a flinch because it says the opposing scissor couldn't move. After upper hand was used. Yeah, yeah. It will cause your opponent to flinch without fail. They will always flinch. Yeah, so if they, like, you try to use fake out and you use upper hand, does that mean you fake out them instead? Yeah, literally. That's what I'm, I mean, that's, that's, that's what I think it is. That's what I think it is. Yeah. But I think the most exciting move so far has been Psychic Noise. Tell me what Psychic Noise does, bro. This is especially exciting. I, I would say especially exciting for singles because it's a Psychic type special attack where if you use this move, they the opponent cannot heal, and that's crazy. Yeah, especially when you're using it against stall. 
yeah it's insane dude uh it's so it's not just through obviously healing like rest and stuff but it's literally heal block it literally says the poison was preventing from yeah. healing here but in the actual video it said heal block so i think they they messed up a little bit on the actual video um Oh, no, 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 it, They just called the heal. Like, I just had the same thing. Because it says the opposing Dondoza was prevented from healing. And in the video, it showed Dondoza trying to go for rest, and it didn't work. Um, yeah. So it stops the recovery from moves, abilities, or items. So, like, leftovers. Literally just, like, yeah, heal block. And that's actually crazy, too. Just to, like, not have the, the residual leftovers HP, mm -hmm. like, coming back to you after using that move is, is crazy. And a lot of Pokemon might get it now because Gardevoir gets it, right? So I feel like it's going to be very usable on... A dude, like dude, imagine it on Iron freaking Valiant. <laughs> like, if it, yeah. if it gets it, like Iron Valiant was sometimes uh, shuffle, uh, it, it, will, it will slide in, uh, or slot in rather, uh, Psy Shock or Psychic, dependently when Claude is running around. So imagine hitting it and it can't recover, and then you can just switch out later and do it again. But specifically on Gardevoir, and shout out to my boy Ralts boy, who uh, sent me this set, but Gardevoir, right? So Gardevoir is, is really strong because it can Calm Mine. Uh, so imagine uh, Calm Mine, you got your, your draining kiss for your recovery, right? Maybe you have sub to avoid status, and then you have your psychic noise, and then Blissey is just, you don't have to run Psy Shock. Blissey is just 1v1 by this, yep. because it can never recover. Stall is just, even even something like Corviknight, like, I mean, not even doing it this way, but like doing it with Mystical Fire. Like, Corviknight can never roost, and obviously this will be Moonblast. This could just be offensive. Like, you could literally just run offensive if you like, have heavy dude boost or something, but like, you hit a Pokemon with it, and it's never recovering. That is, or at least for the X amount of turns until it switches out or whatever. So that is such a sick addition to Gardevoir. And I just want to see uh, a few Pokemon that have access to Heal Block. I don't even know if Heal Block's in the game right now. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's not in the game. It's not, but let's look at Gen 8. Let's look at Gen 8, right? Let's look at Gen 8 Pokemon that can learn Heal Block. Because I remember uh, Latios, Thunderous, whatever. These guys don't do it. Uh, Celebi, Re Reuniclus is pretty big. Kama yeah. Reuniclus, not having a Psy Shock, but can just stop you from healing as well. So, I mean... It's a plethora of psychic and like some other uh, ghost type Pokemon, so it's not a, it's not too huge of a thing. And if we actually look at Gen Seven, I remember Palkia getting it as well, uh, and that's how it got like with the Z move. That's how it got uh, its its plus special attack raise. But right, right. for the most part, psychics, a lot of psychics might get it. Anyway, exciting. I think it's exciting. Maybe, maybe Iron, maybe Iron Crown. Who knows? Oh, if we look at psychic types in Generation Nine currently. Or even like Metagross, right? So let's look at Psychics in the current game. Uh, yeah. Crest, Hatterene is pretty nasty. I don't think Hoopa needs it, but Glowking, if, if a regenerated Pokemon that not only is regenerating its own health, but stopping you from recovering. Stopping, oh, wow. Likewise, if you use it on Glowking, it doesn't get regenerated that turn. Like when it switches out and comes back in. So it's a pretty, mm -hmm. pretty nasty move. I actually really, I really like it. There's a lot of Psychic types, dude. There oh. are. My God, if this move is like distributable to like a lot of these mons, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty good. And I don't know, man. It's it it's hype. Being able to heal and stuff. It's, it's hype. hype. I'm, also, I'm actually really hyped for that move. Also, can I say it did not look weak? It did like it's almost 80 percent to Dondozo, <laughs> like from full. Now we don't know the situation, right? The Dondozo could have negative IVs. It could be a combine boosted Gardevoir, whatever. But it doesn't look like it's a 50 base power move is what I'm saying, right? It doesn't. It looks like an 80, 90 base power move. Or, yeah, or even 70. Like, I, I'd be okay with 70. I could I could work with 70. Um, we already have Mystical Power. That's 70. And they kind of like that role. Like, But Torch Song's 80, though. And Torch Song's broken compared to, like, every other move. So, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, they'll, maybe they'll just do it. Either way, this is a very exciting. And, and it's something like the... Uh, just being able to beat bulky Pokemon or regenerated Pokemon. I like that we have that. Now... Mm -hmm. One of the most exciting things and potentially game-breaking for a competitive of all aspects, whether you play 6v6 uh, singles or uh, VGC or Battle Stadium singles, um, a 19th Terra type has been discovered. And this is very funny because yesterday, MV, in the video we recorded, you said, is there a hidden Terra type that we could use? <laughs> without even knowing without even knowing shadowing i knew i see i'm a time bender bro i'm a time bender. yeah there were also leaks but okay we'll give you that time bender i just want to say that part but <laughs> anyway <clears throat> so a 19th terror type has been revealed for those that don't know there are not 19 different types of pokemon canonically like but uh anyway basically uh you seem to terra and it's not just teropagus this definitely has to do with teropagus obviously Right, this for sure has to do with that Pokemon, uh, and like just the legendaries in, in general in the DLC. But you see back Scalibur, 
having this. And I knew they picked this demon mon for a reason. Now, we know nothing about this, right? It just seems different. Uh, it, it's rainbow and it affects Terra Blast. Now, worst case, scariest case scenario is it's like Judgment from Legends Arceus with the Judgment plate. With the, with the Legend plate, whatever the hell it had. That made it every single time it attacked was super effective on the opponent. Now, if that's the case... What do you think will happen to this MV? Well, what I think is going to happen is we're going to try it out. We're going to realize it's crazy. And, and we're going to ban it. By. It's going to ban <laughs> Now, if it's limited to an item, like maybe because you know like Terra is like your regular type, but in order to like Rainbow Terra, I'm just going to call it Rainbow Terra right now. In order to Rainbow Terra, um, if you need to hold an item, obviously that makes it a little bit easier in regards because only one pokemon potentially do it but any pokemon probably hold the item as well so you're limited like for example on backscalibur like this has nothing to do with vgc like vgc would probably be scarier because you know you guys uh, don't have like rocks and stuff well sometimes you do yeah actually i've been using stuff like and toxic spikes i'm proud of you guys um <laughs> I, I didn't mean that to sound like like condes <laughs> condescending i mean like yeah, <laughs> just, i didn't mean to come out that way um but it's just funny seeing obviously things that we've been using forever uh, that you guys yeah. are finally using. Uh, but for us, obviously, Stealth Rock, Spike, Tox Spike, all that stuff would affect you if you have to hold an item because you can't have heavy duty boots. You can't have loaded dice. But like, none of that matters if I'm, you're constantly changing, right? What if it's like a Protean slash color change type of thing? Color change would be like when you get hit, you change it to it. So maybe that doesn't matter as much. But it clearly affects Terra Blast. What if it's just always super effective? It's not going to last it's, in singles. Yeah. So, so reading the text, it says it plays an important role in, in battles. battles. Like, yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. It's, now, let me read the next sentence. Crystallizing your Pokemon opens up a new world of strategy since it allows you to change your Pokemon's type to its Terra type, which can increase the power of move with the same type or change your Pokemon's weaknesses. Now, with that clue in mind, I think it just described what terrestrialization was all along. Yes, it, it, yeah. It literally just said terrestrializing. Envy, you were reading a definition. Correct. Good job. Good job, bro. Thank you. <laughs> it just says it seems different, dude. And I don't know. The way they showed it in the trailer was a bunch they of showed different every typing. typing. Exactly. I don't know, man. I think it might. Maybe. So, you know how you Terra, right? Let's say Backscalibur has a Terra. Typically, Backscalibur Terra's. Dragon, if you want the banded glaive rushes, fairy, ground, if you're that sub, ice body, whatever. Those are like some of the typical ones. There are, there are more, obviously. It can run anyone it wants. But if it keeps you your type, but then as you use Terra Blast, it changes you to a type that's super effectively. So then you'll still be that type after. This is this is not lasting in singles. This is not like yeah. I've, I've been. I'm fine with Terra currently, and I acknowledge that we obviously have a lot of Pokemon that are problems with Terra. But I'm still been for the most part. I'm okay with Terra currently. But this type of Terra would be way too much, dude. You can't have super effective hits on every type you attack because this, <laughs> they showed the most broken set. You just, you don't, you know what? This could be Dragon Dance Terra Blast and you'd be fine, right? You don't need any of those other attacks. No, literally, the, the way that they just showed off Backscalibur in the picture with Dragon Dance three attacks and then a Terra Blast that could probably be super effective versus anything is, is just, uh, you know, one of many possibilities of how broken this will be we could be wrong we could be wrong what do you guys think it'd be i feel like that's like the most logical it has every single type it's a rainbow why would it not if terra makes terra blast based on your terra type and this one has every type why couldn't it be that like literally why couldn't it be unless it transforms you into a kecleon and then every time you get hit your type changes yeah but kecleon also got not just color change but also protean oh what if this, what if this terrestrialization, actually, whenever you get hit by a Pokemon, it changes your Terra Blast type? Yeah, you just, ex why'd you explain Kecleon twice in a row? <laughs> I thought you kind of changed twice. <laughs> no, 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 with Terra Blast, though. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for explaining that. I appreciate that. Thank Guys, you. we have absolutely no idea what this is going to be, um, but it seems very scary. Like, it definitely seems scary. This looks way scarier than uh, Gigant, like... Dynamax to Gigantamax was the same thing, right? You got you got specific Gigantamax moves for Pokemon, but for the most part, the mods were still the same. They still had the effects of Dynamax, right? They didn't change anything from that for the most part, besides what they look like. But this potentially changing your type every time, I don't know. I need to know your thoughts. Let us know down below. 
Sub to me. Yep. Sub to Envy. We'll see you guys in the next one. That's it. Peace. Peace.